My friends and I heard Jesus preach on a hillside once, and our hearts were so touched by what he said that we formed a brotherhood and followed Jesus around, and others joined our group too. I was the scholar of the group, as I could read and write. I often took notes of what Jesus had said and shared them with others. Since Jesus' arrest, the others became fearful and went into hiding, and so did I. But I had to see what was happening. I put a cloak over my head so no one would recognise me, and I came here to Golgotha. Because of the crowds, I was late, and Jesus was now on the cross between two others. He is barely recognisable, he's been beaten cruelly. I can see his mother and other women at the foot of the cross, crying and consoling each other. The men are in hiding, but these women are out in the open and don't seem to care about being recognised. I feel humbled and I put down my hood in solidarity with them. There are some men there, but they are mocking him, challenging him to come down off the cross if he really is the Son of God. I can hear some of the chief priests laughing and saying to each other, he's saved others, let's see if he can save himself. The amazing thing is, he's actually praying for them as he hangs on the cross. It was noon when he was put on the cross and it's now 3 p.m. No one survives this long hung like this on a cross. I saw some soldiers talking about speeding this up and because it was taking so long they decided to put a spear into his side up until now Jesus had been talking to the criminals being crucified either side of him or to his mother and followers but now he cried out my God my God why have you forsaken me some said he's calling Elijah Elijah is our great prophet who we call in times of greatest need Still people mocked him, saying, let's see if Elijah will come and help him. Then Jesus gave up, one more cry aloud, and his head fell to one side, and it was clear he had died. For a moment, everything became quiet and still, and then an almighty earthquake struck, just at that moment when the whole sky became dark, even though it was the afternoon. The soldiers and the people mocking Jesus looked scared. And then shouting was heard. I couldn't make it out at first, but people ran up saying, the curtain of the temple has been torn in two from top to bottom. Others ran up saying that tombs had broken out and the dead were coming from them into the city. It was all so strange. The centurions guarding the site looked terrified, and some people were saying, this is what Jesus had predicted all along. One of the guards said to himself, even though everyone could hear, surely he was the Son of God. I thought, I must write all this down but I will never forget the events I've just told you about, and I urge you not to forget them either, and to share them with others. <laughs>